Sorry haters, Ryan Johnson's new Star Wars trilogy hasn't really been cancelled. Yet. How's it going everybody? This is Phil. Um, so, you know, this has been an on-again, off-again thing lately where it relates to Ryan Johnson's uh, supposed trilogy and uh, whether or not it's ever going to see the light of day. Uh, one day it's happening, the next day it's not happening, uh, you know, then it's happening again, but only a single movie with the possibility of a trilogy. Um, you know, nobody knows what the hell is going on, uh, you know, and, and that might include uh, Ryan Johnson himself. You know, I, I mean, Mike Zero uh, can barely keep up with the Johnson trilogy news lately, uh, and and still try to keep up with the endless uh, casting news <laughs> going on with uh, you know J.J. Abrams with episode uh, eight and a half and nine and ten and eleven and twelve and you know however many installments it's going to take him to uh, finally close out uh, the Skywalker saga, you know whatever that means anymore these days. Um, so, uh, <laughs> this article uh, comes to us from MovieWeb, um, you know, and the uh, condescending Kevin Berwick uh, has done what I can only assume to be an intense and thorough investigation uh, regarding this topic, uh, this burning topic, and uh, has at long last uncovered the truth uh, and cracked this case. Um, we're going to owe him a, a huge debt of gratitude. Uh, so uh, let's get started and uh, see what evidence has been brought to light by uh, Kevin Berwick. Um, you know, that will shut the haters up uh, once and for all, shall we? Okay, so. Yeah, let's leave this up here. Okay. Uh, the Last Jedi Backlash will not have an impact on Ryan Johnson's upcoming Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> oh, oh, I find that hard to believe. Uh, the, the, the director uh, answered a question about the trilogy on social media, uh, putting an end to the rumors that Lucasfilm had put his new story in the trash. Um, you know, well, listen, that doesn't mean shit to me. Uh, the only person I'll accept an answer from on social media that would put an end to these rumors um, would be Bob Iger himself. That's it. You know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Ryan Johnson is like an employee who's been working for a company for a little while, uh, and they f they feel good about wh where they are and what their position is. Um, you know, and and he's essentially of the mindset of a person starting their work week on a Monday, uh, not realizing that they're getting fired on a Friday. <laughs> you know, uh, I've been there. Uh, you know, you don't know until it happens. So, uh, how would he really know? You know, I mean, it's business as usual for him until it isn't. Uh, you know, Johnson's first time directing a movie in the Star Wars universe was met with mixed reactions from fans. <laughs> um, a mixed reaction is what happens when you give a, a five year old a Sour Patch kid to eat for the first time. Uh, you know, this movie. <laughs> <laughs> fraction of fan community um, and, and put it in a state of, of damn near disrepair and it had uh, effects that that uh, shot out in all different directions and uh, culminated with a, uh, a solo movie that bombed in the theaters so um, you can't pin that all on marketing all right the movie would have at least broke even it, it probably would have uh, turned a profit if the goodwill was still there um, I mean that this movie really did a number on the, on this Star Wars franchise, and and to deny that is, uh, I think, in my opinion, it's just ridiculous. I mean, come on, let's get real here. Uh, there is a group who stand by Ryan Johnson's uh, risk taking uh, and lazy writing uh, and canto bite sequences and forced politics and assassinating legacy characters uh, and Leia Poppins and and Luke squeezing uh, green milk out of a sea cow and, and slurping it down and getting it all in his beard and these were uh, wonderful things to stand by uh, and then 
uh, there's that group and then there's another group uh, who weren't buying that bullshit and absolutely hated it <laughs> you know and uh, which is where this rumor originated from um, you know I mean come on risk taken you know as far as risk taken uh, I mean if you look at the original trilogy Darth Vader being Luke Skywalker's father that was taking a risk all right, as far as the story was concerned and that was a subversion of what people ex expected of Luke Skywalker that turned everything on its head what Ryan Johnson did wasn't really how is it risky he was risking uh, pissing off a large portion of the fan community that's exactly what happened that's the risk he took and that's where we find ourselves today I don't know man this this, this Kevin Berwick like, he, he, he paints this like Johnson some kind of visionary and he's not he's just a nitwit uh, by his own admission is a, is a poor writer uh, and also wants to make movies that sees half the audience walk out in disgust uh, and that's exactly what he did he, he pulled it off <laughs> all right so popular Star Wars insider and everybody's favorite youtuber Mike Zero uh, revealed a scoop earlier this week uh, stating that Disney and Lucasfilm were tired of the backlash that The Last Jedi had created and were shrinking Ryan Johnson's trilogy into one film um, yeah, why not? I mean, uh, let the guy prove his worth. Uh, you know, if if that's the case, I mean, I, that just sounds, you know, they're tired of the backlash. Uh, kind of sounds like a weak report. I mean, to me, it would it would be something more along the lines of uh, you know, Disney and Lucasfilm uh, have reviewed the situation uh, and considered Ryan Johnson to be a liability for the Star Wars franchise. Uh, effective immediately, we will. Um, wish Ryan all the best in his future endeavors uh, and we have decided to part ways creatively and take the franchise in a different direction I mean that that would be the way to go about it uh, why even let him get a movie um, you know as a part in shot going out the door just cut your ties cut your losses uh, and move forward um, it, it, that to me would make the most sense uh, zero claim that the success of the one movie would determine whether the rest of the trilogy was made or not Look, even if they were going to give Ryan Johnson uh, a shot, why would you do it theatrically? Okay, let him do it on the streaming service. At least that way, he's insulated uh, from any kind of box office backlash. All right, the 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 user base um, is already there. The people that are subscribers to the Disney streaming service will. Uh, tune in if they love Ryan Johnson so much uh, then he'll drive all of the other fans the the 75 percent supposedly whatever it is uh, that love Star Wars then he'll be the one that drives everybody to that streaming service and the other 25 percent uh, can just go see D&D's movie when it comes out you know let, let it be that let it be done that way if that's the case uh, however the director confirmed that Zero's report is fake it's fake news uh, when a when a fan messaged him on Twitter asking if the trilogy was still happening, Johnson replied with a simple "Yup," adding the fist emoji. Yeah, I mean everyone knows a fist emoji. Y you take that as fact. Uh, I, I know whenever I pr put a fist emoji at the end of a of a, <laughs> of a reply on, on a text that I send, um, everyone takes me seriously. Uh, Ryan Johnson's new Star Wars trilogy is currently a mystery. Um, uh, yeah, because he doesn't even know what the hell it is. Uh, it will take place outside of the Skywalker storyline and will explore new places and new characters within the universe, according to Johnson. So he doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, as for specifics, there are none. Uh, there has not been any new information reported about the project which is why the rumors of a shutdown spread so quickly because it seems that uh, most of the time Johnson's just on Twitter you know trolling fans and going back and forth and engaging in, in, in nonsense when he should maybe you know what he's been quiet quiet maybe he has actually been writing his trilogy or figuring out what Star Wars means or whatever the case may be uh, Lucasfilm and Disney have reportedly canceled the planned Obi-Wan and Boba Fett spin-off movies due to the failure of Solo a Star Wars story at the box office and many have lumped Johnson's trilogy in there as well uh, as well they should and uh, so uh, this will not happen um, and the Obi-Wan and Boba Fett spin-off movies will happen uh, Obi-Wan should be done theatrically uh, Boba Fett um, 
probably would do well in the theater. Uh, it could be something that spins off at a streaming service, but uh, these two will happen. This won't see the light of day. I, I don't care how many fist emojis that you put at the end of a tweet. Uh, it ain't happening, all right? Uh, Game of Thrones co-creators David Benioff and D.B. Weiss are developing a series of their own for the Star Wars universe, which, like Ryan Johnson's, has not been reported about in a while. However, it's Johnson's name and project that ends up in the news uh, because of the last Jedi backlash. Uh, Benioff and Weiss have yet to discuss what their films will be centered on, but they're probably really busy with the final re season of Game of Thrones, which is currently in post-production preparing for a release in the first half of 2019. And many fans have speculated and can only hope uh, that D&D uh, &D will give us a, a Old Republic, uh, a Knights of the Old Republic movie, uh, which would be really cool, and that would get far, far away uh, from the Skywalker saga. It would be its own thing, and uh, you could tell really, really great, satisfying stories uh, within that timeline uh, and as it relates to the Star Wars universe. If that's the case, if they do announce it, uh, I will be looking forward to that uh, immensely. Um, that could be really, really good. Uh, Star Wars Episode Nine is currently filming and is slated for a December 2019 release date, which means that another Star Wars project could move into production in 2019 for a possible premiere in 2020. Uh, like the story for Ryan Johnson's trilogy, the production start date is also a mystery at this time. It's unclear if Disney and Lucasfilm will want to introduce a new trilogy so quickly after wrapping up Star Wars Episode Nine. For now, we'll just have to wait patiently to see what Johnson comes up with but at least we know that his idea has not been thrown in the trash by Lucasfilm. Uh, that's because it was thrown in the trash by Bob Iger, uh, if anything. You can check out the fan and director online interaction below, provided by Ryan Johnson's Twitter account. So, um, this is it. This is, this is Kevin Berwick's uh, huge investigative reporting skills at its finest. Uh, he went to Ryan Johnson's Twitter feed and uh, here it is. Yup, with a fist bump. Well, th it's official. You know, uh, 651 people liked it and 229 are talking about it. Uh, what more do you need? Uh, the movie is on, y'all. Uh, everybody get your popcorn ready. Uh, I mean, this is... What a buffoon, you know? I mean, uh, to get up there uh, and just be antagonistic you know, in your in your headline, clearly this is what's going on here. Um, you know, we, we see this all over the web. Uh, what we need is a nice uh, Angus Havaris article. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while since Angus has dropped an Angus bomb. Um, you know, the, the the Kevin Berwick's and all these other knuckleheads from MovieWeb and ComicBook.com and and you know, and you got the Scott Metalsons of the world. Uh, you know, they sit there and they and they revel and they twirl their mustaches like evil villains and they and they. They, they snicker at the fans that, um, you know, are, are trying to actually make a difference and uh, push this thing back in the right direction. Uh, you know, like I said, if you were happy with all of the nonsense that this guy produced and put on screen with the, with the bad humor and the character development uh, and a story that went nowhere and uh, slammed the door shut and really took the greatest cinematic hero we've ever seen, Luke Skywalker, uh, and, and just turned him into an old grumpy curmudgeon who lives on an island with a bunch of fish people drinking milk off of a four-titty sea cow and, and tripping bulls and, and telling people to go home when they need his help, even though he left a map uh, to find them in case they did need his help. Uh, you know, if, if, you're okay, if you're okay with all of these decisions and, and, and the Canto Bite sequences and, and the slowest chase sequence I've ever seen in a movie and uh, Kylo Ren, who, who doesn't progress at all, he makes a, a lateral move as far as story progression is concerned, and a, and a Snoke character that was dispatched so flippantly after everything was built up, and, and Rey's lineage is just thrown away, and Luke Skywalker is thrown over shoulder. If you're happy with that movie, I mean, that laundry list of, of garbage, hot garbage, then by all means, enjoy yourself. Uh, you know, it's on Blu-ray, you'll have it forever. Um, you know, the rest of us are trying to fight for something better. Uh, that's the way I see it. Um, and you know what? It, it, you can marginalize this as much as you want. And if it's if it's only 10%, I'll ride with that 10%. That that's where I'm going to be at. You know, the other 90%. Uh, I, I guess they can just revel in this. You know, in the muck and the mire. Uh, you know, like a pig rolling around in, in a in a pile of shit. 
So, uh, anyway, uh, that's what I'm talking about today <laughs> with this article. This trilogy isn't happening. I don't give a shit. I don't care how many fist bumps this guy puts up on his Twitter account, all right? This 16-year-old girl. It ain't happening. Forget about it, all right? The, the Obi-Wan movie will happen. The Boba Fett movie will happen. Uh, the Ryan Johnson trilogy will never see the light of day. If anything, it'll be relegated to a streaming service. It'll never get a theatrical release because Disney knows to run the market and to put this thing in a theater, that's extra money that they're going to lose. So if they can insulate the expense by throwing it right onto the streaming service, that would be the smartest play. But I'm sure there's a kill clause that's written into the contract for Ryan Johnson. So nobody has anybody by the balls here. If Disney wants, they could dispatch with him. And that'll be the end of it. And then he can move on and he can go shoot Looper 2 or Brick 2 or whatever whatever he wants to do. You know, do a rom-com and, you know, have fun with it. You know, be silly, be goofy. And you could tweet about it all day long. So anyway, what do you guys think about this? Do you think it's on? Do you think it's off? Uh, you're not buying it. What do you think about Kevin Berwick with his snive little shots uh, <laughs> is, uh i'm out i'm out of here man uh if, if you like this video hit that like button uh, feel free to comment down below uh, if it's your first time here uh hit the subscribe button uh smash a little notification bell as uh my good buddy uh john talks would say and uh you'll be notified next time i post a video and uh that's pretty much it guys so until next time be happy be safe be healthy have a great day see you later bye